Denko, part six. I don't have any romantic experience, so I'm not too sure, but, um, this girl I just started dating yesterday emailed me saying not to email her. Now I can't get a hold of her. What do you think it could be, stupid fucking hamster face? Was there an incident? Is she fickle? Did she have an accident? Is she, is she testing me? Like I said, I'm, I'm not experienced, so please give me advice. Stupid fucking hamster face, are you sure you were dating to begin with? No, we're definitely dating, stupid fucking hamster face. I've been in the same class as her since high school, and we went to the same college, and became friends over email. And just yesterday, we started dating, stupid fucking hamster face. I've never been on a date with a girl before, so I'm, I'm not sure what to think. First things first, shoot her some emails. About 600 should be good. <laughs> Don't email her. Um, just wondering, is this girlfriend a little more than a figment of your imagination? Well, I, I confessed to her and she said sure, but right afterwards she said not to email her. Even I don't fully understand the situation, stupid fucking hamster face. Going off these other replies, yeah, you're a stalker. She only unwillingly said yes because she was terrified of you. I've only sent 70 emails so far. I had plans to call her yesterday, so I'm just confused, stupid fucking hamster face. Maybe I should call her house. Getting 70 emails in a day from some day I don't like would bring me to gross sobbing. Are you that 600 email guy from yesterday? Didn't she say she was busy with work? Go ask her work about it. Somebody explain what happened yesterday. After the part where he didn't know his brother's contact info. OP emailed Danko a ton. She didn't reply. He confessed his love. Right after, Denko replied, sure, but it was apparently a reply from before the confession. And afterward, he got an email saying, don't email me anymore. And yet, in the LP's mind, Denko is already his girlfriend. Are you out for real? If I was Denko, I'd be horrified and depressed. Who has the time to reply to that many emails? Think about her feelings, you dick. Stab it, fucking hamster face. What is this guy even talking about? Denko's crying her eyes out. Other than being a virgin, I'm a relatively ordinary guy, stupid fucking hamster face. Is there any way to force her into getting in contact with me? I went to her house once and talked with her mother, and she said she'd call once Denko came home, but but I'm uneasy since it seems like she still isn't, isn't home. Ordinary guys, uh, don't send 600 emails in three days when there's uh, no reply. I've been thinking about that, okay? I realized it was a bit excessive after you all uh, told me so, stupid fucking hamster face. I've sent 70 emails so far, but that's just one every 10 minutes, so I, I think I'm good, stupid fucking hamster face. I'm waiting at a cafe near her house to see if she passes by, but I haven't seen her. It's in front of the station that goes to school, so she must take this route. I just want to know the truth in this unclear situation. I like her so much, but I feel like I've been betrayed, stupid fucking hamster face. This just makes me feel terrible. I feel so sorry for that girl. I don't think she said sure to the confession. Who'd say sure to that? Come on, guys. Stop calling me creepy. I know you like to joke around, but I'm heartbroken here. So I'm taking it seriously, stupid fucking hamster face. You're too self-conscious. Try a little harder and she'll see your love. Sorry, but, uh, I wasn't joking. You are a horrible, disgusting creep. God! That thread from yesterday. Are you really the same guy? And what do you mean you went on a date? Tell me what happened there. So he never got his brother's address, huh? If he can't get in contact with his brother, OP is dumb. Dumb. I asked my mother for my brother's phone number yesterday, but he doesn't seem to want to talk to me. Talk about rude. We're family, stupid fucking hamster face. Mm, when's your birthday, OP? She might be preparing a surprise. Mm, consider it. It's March 10th. What do you guys do when you fight with your girlfriends? I'd like to know for, for reference, stupid fucking hamster face. Have you tried waiting in front of her house? Make sure the hearts and no one sees you. Of course I thought about doing that, but I decided against it, since really, isn't that stalkery? So I decided to wait for her in the cafe instead, stupid fucking hamster face. No matter what road she takes, she'll pass through here, so she can't go anywhere. And you think sending 600 emails in a couple days isn't stalkery? Well, I'm a girl. Did you actually fight? Some girls will get mad and say, 
I'm mad. Don't email me. So she might be indirectly telling you she's mad. I figured she might be mad. But, well, do girls sometimes fake being mad to see if their boyfriends really love them, stupid fucking hamster face? His brother's a former actor, FYI. Assuming he's not just making that up, I deeply pity that man. Soon enough, he's going to have to apologize for his relative's crimes. I said I'm not a stalker. Haven't any of you ever waited for a girl you're not dating? And a husband who waits for his wife at the station isn't a stalker, is he? When I meet her, I think it might be best not to harshly question her or get mad, but to calmly embrace her, stupid fucking hamster face. Advice, please. <coughs> Ruffle! Thank you for watching. Please, check out my other videos. They're also things, stupid fucking...